Hey guys, it's Saria. Today I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous Rapunzel inspired light up ears. But they're not lighting up right now because we have to sing the song. Obviously. Flower gleam and glow. Oh yeah. Magic. I've made a, another pair similar to this one, but they're not Rapunzel inspired, uh, which I'll show you right now. So these were requested by Emily, one of my subscribers, and I was super excited to make these for her. I had this idea a little bit before she asked, but not much. So I was super excited that she sent Rapunzel because I was like, awesome, I've been really wanting to make those. Um, so you can make these non-Rapunzel inspired and not do the, the hair kind of yarn effect and they'll still light up and look beautiful with the flower crown. Or you can go full on and do the Rapunzel inspired ones. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I post DIY videos every Tuesday and right now we are in video number three three of our Mickey ear DIY series and those go up every Thursday uh, so if you're wanting to see those make sure you hit that little notification bell so that you're notified the next time these videos go up without further ado let's get into the tutorial for these ears you're going to need an assortment of fake flowers some battery operated LED lights I got mine off Amazon you can find them in the link below yellow yarn the ear sewing line template, which you can also find in the description, a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, a headband that's one inch wide, and then some floral wire. You'll also need something to cut the wire with and scissors. You'll also need something round that's around four inches in diameter. I chose this candle, but you might have a cup or something else in your house that will work. So you're going to start out by taking your wire and stretching it because it's probably going to have like a curved effect to it. Then you're going to wrap it around your candle or whatever you're using just to give it that circular shape. And then you're going to shape it a little bit and press it down to your headband to check the sizing. If you need to adjust, the good thing is what I love about wire ears is they're adjustable the whole time through the project and even after they're done you can still adjust them. All right, so if you have an other pair of ears that you like the sizing on, you can use them just for reference. Um, I'm also gonna show you how to use that template that I mentioned in the uh, materials and how to use that for sizing. Uh, so I wanna show you both ways. So this is using a pair you already own and getting the spacing of the ears and the sizing and just literally lay your headband down flat on it, lay the wire on top and get the spacing and the sizing that uh, looks most similar to the ears that you like and then use a good bit of hot glue and press down the wire firmly. So now I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm actually going back over the wire that I hot glued down and I'm literally encasing the entire thing in wire, both on the middle and the sides. This is just to make it extra secure. I've never had a problem with these ripping off if I do this. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the other way. So if you take that template, and I'm just showing you that it does fit the other ear that I did, but I'm taking the template and I'm using it as my guide. I already have the rounded shape from wrapping it around the candle, so now I'm gonna make sure that sizing-wise and spacing-wise that I'm gluing down the side of the wire to the headband in the right place. So I had to adjust it, so I re-bent the bottom, and now I'm checking it again. And this is a lot of kind of trial and error. The wire is honestly the hardest part of this, but the good thing is, is until you glue it down, you can adjust it as much as you want to. All right, so now that I have that spot, I'm gonna take my hot glue, press down the wire, and now I'm just going back over and encasing the rest of the wire. I didn't cut my wire, but I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter either way because I can cut it after I glue it, but you can always cut it before you glue it, depending on what you think is gonna be easier. 
Um, do cut your wires kind of short. I left mine long and it ended up being hard because I had to glue more flowers than I originally intended just to cover it up. So I would have cut it shorter if I went back and did them again. And then I just kind of form the ears the way I like. So now I'm going to take my little LED lights. Do not unwrap the lights. Leave them wrapped up because it's so much easier to do this part. So you're going to wrap the LED string around the wire ear and if you keep them all bundled up this is so much easier versus if you string it all out you have to pull the whole string through the ear every time you do a loop it takes forever so keep it all bundled up and you're just gonna wrap 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 um, until you've got the whole ear covered in lights but what most likely is gonna happen is that your string is gonna be so long you're gonna do two layers so you're gonna start in the middle of the headband start wrapping the lights go all the way to the side of the headband and then you'll go back which you'll see I included all of this just so that you guys could see exactly what I have to do to get all these lights on um, you could use a shorter strand I'm turning them on by the way just to make sure that the spacing looks good um, but you could use a shorter strand of lights but then you won't have as many bulbs so it's just kind of how bright you want it I like mine extra bright all right, so I'm checking the spacing and I'm seeing that I've got some gaps. So now that I'm going back toward the middle of the headband with the strand and re-wrapping as I go, I'm trying to fill in those gaps with the bulbs. So I left the lights on so I could really make sure that the light bulbs were getting where they needed to go. So keep wrapping, going toward the middle of the headband. Make sure you get the spacing right because after you do this and get all the way back around it is kind of hard to adjust them because they're pretty tight. Alright so now that I'm down to the bottom where it's just wire I'm just wrapping it around the ears. This wire is really good at laying flat so there I mean it wraps really well as you can see here. And then you're going to take your light switch pack where the batteries are and everything, put hot glue on the bottom where you can see the screws, and then press it down onto the headband in the middle of the ear. We're going to cover that up with flowers in a minute. Alright, so I'm checking it, make sure it works, and now I'm going to move on to the second ear and do the same thing. Alright, now that both ears are done, lit, and the packs are glued down, I'm going to take my hot glue gun because I have this one wire sticking up and I'm just going to put a little dot of hot glue and glue the wire down. Do not overdo this because I don't know how that will affect the wires. Um, I've never had a problem with it, but at the same time, I would err on the side of caution. Alright, so now I'm just checking the shape of the ears. The cool thing is you can still bend these. They're still flexible, even wrapped in all these lights. So now take a piece of yellow yarn and you're going to stretch it from your fingertips down to your elbow four times. I know in the video I do it five times, but mine ended up being way too long. So just do four, and then you're going to cut more strands according to the length of that strand. So for my ears, I ended up doing nine strands because you're going to braid it and I wanted three groups of three. I definitely think if you want your ears to be a little bit daintier, you could do six strands and then do three groups of two for the braids. And I think it would look just as good, cover the whole ears, but they wouldn't be as full. So it just kind of depends the look you're going for. So now I'm counting, making sure I've got all nine. And then I'm going to knot the top of my yarn strands so that they don't come loose while I'm braiding them. I'm going to take that candle again and I'm going to put it on the top of the strand while I braid them. So separate into three pieces three equal sections just like you would your hair and then you're going to begin braiding. Make sure that you're not letting the bottom get tangled because obviously these strands are so long they get tangled like I let them get here. I have to go through and comb them out. Um, if you just hold on to the bottom and do it almost like jumping rope it's pretty easy and then you just make sure you're pulling it tight as you're going. But just braid it in a normal braid and then when you get to the bottom tie the bottom in a knot as well so that they it doesn't unravel. Make it nice and tight. And then you're gonna take your braided yarn and you're gonna start wrapping it around the ear to cover up the lights. Um, this is not hard, it's so much easier than the lights, but I decided because the lights were so easy wrapped up that I would wrap the hair up as well and that helped a lot. So wrap it up kind of into a ball and then 
just weave it around that ear covering up the lights and check as you're going to make sure that you are covering up those little bulbs because it's really what gives it that magical effect. And then once you get to the end of your ear or the middle of your ear I should say then you're gonna check it make sure that you've got all the bulbs covered and it's nice and lit up take your hot glue and glue down one end of the ear and then you're gonna snip off the excess and then you're gonna snip off I snipped off like a large amount so that it was easier to hot glue down and then I wrapped it around one more time and hot glued down the ends and then trimmed off what I didn't need Now do the other side and now we get to do the fun part the flowers so I like to do one bigger flower as like an accent um, tilted to one side so like more toward one side of the ear as opposed to the middle it just depends on what kind of look you're going for but I do this on pretty much all my ears because I like how it looks um, so I did this one pinkish yellowish flower yellow what no I'm I, no colors pinkish whitish <laughs> Um, and then I took these other flowers. So I liked these yellow ones because they looked like the flower from Rapunzel, but I ended up going back, you're gonna see, and ripping some of them off because the color just didn't remind me of Rapunzel. So um, I would highly suggest focusing more on purples and pinkish tones because when you get done, it just looks way better. Um, I also tried to use these orchids and it just didn't, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just being too picky, but I just didn't think it looked like Rapunzel. So I'm just showing you how to do this. This is one of the only projects where I leave that little nub on the flower on because I can put all the hot glue there and then like shove it into the headband and glue it down. And it works really well to keep the, the flower like propped up. Um, so I would not cut those off. I think it makes it harder. So then I flipped it over on the back and I'm just doing the same thing, covering it up with flowers. Basically the premise here is just to cover up the battery packs and the wire as much as you can. I've done a ton of flowers while doing these and then this headband I actually didn't use that many flowers. I just was really particular about how I laid them to make sure everything got covered. Um, if you wanted to go the extra mile you could take little tiny flowers and glue them into the hair like her hair has in the movie. Make sure that your battery pack switch is accessible. This is like so important. Do not cover it so much with flowers that you can't turn them on because that would be so sad. So as you're gluing, please, please, please make sure you can turn them on. So this is where I go back and rip off those orchids and a couple of the yellow ones and take um, some more lavender shades and things like that and start gluing those down in their place. I did leave you'll see eventually but I did leave one like little yellow flower on each side because I loved how they looked like the flower from Tangled so I really wanted to leave them on there but they just kind of overpowered me. you guys are probably like oh my gosh she's crazy but <laughs> all right so there's that little yellow flower that I left and I just thought these looked so much better in the purpley tones with just a little bit of yellow as opposed to being so much yellow that's what they look like on. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. All right guys, so that's it for the wired light up ears. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up.